So if uh, Senator Crapo and Rich would like to introduce their judge, we'd be glad to hear from you. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman and Ranking Member Franken. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to join Senator Risch in offering our enthusiastic support for Judge David Nye on his nomination to become the United States District Judge for the District of Idaho. I'd also like to welcome Judge Nye's wife, Katri, and his son, Jeff, who are joining us here today. I think I mispronounced her name, Katri. Katri. We also appreciate the President's support for Judge Nye and the positive and productive consultation process we had with the President's team, which resulted in this nomination. Judge Nye has served as a judge for Idaho's 6th Judicial District for nearly 10 years. He earned a BA from Brigham Young University in 1982 and his law degree from BYU's J. Reuben Clark Law School in 1986. He gained experience serving as a law clerk for the Criminal Appeals Division of the Utah Attorney General's Office, as well as for Judge George Granada of Idaho's 5th Judicial District. Prior to becoming a judge in 2007, David Nye worked for 20 years in private practice in Pocatello, Idaho, including 18 years as a partner in a firm. In addition to his current work as 6th District Judge, Judge Nye's responsibilities also include presiding over a highly successful diversionary felony drug court. He is also heavily involved in the training and orientation of new Idaho judges and serves on the Idaho Supreme Court's committees on judicial education and felony sentencing. Judge Nye has been rated unanimously well qualified by the American Bar Association and I strongly encourage this committee to support his nomination. While I have a moment, I would also like to make sure that the committee is aware of the unique circumstances and urgency regarding this nomination. It's been a while since Idaho senators have appeared before this committee, as Idaho is one of only three states having just two authorized district court judgeships. The nonpartisan Judicial Conference of the United States has declared a judicial emergency for Idaho and has recommended in every one of its report to Congress since 2003 that Idaho be authorized for a third district court judgeship. Unfortunately, the last time Congress authorized any new judgeships, district judgeships for any state was in 2002. So we just missed out. The result is that we have a three judge caseload state being handled by two judges. And since last July, when Judge Lodge took senior status, creating the vacancy we are seeking to address today, we have been a three caseload state being handled by only one active judge. What's even more challenging is that our one remaining active judge is eligible to take senior status this coming March. I look forward to working with the committee to pass the legislation that Senator Risch and I have introduced to authorize a third district court judgeship for Idaho to prevent any such emergency from happening in the future. But first, I strongly encourage this committee to approve Judge Nye's nomination as soon as possible so that the people of Idaho can continue to be assured that they will be served by well-qualified judges. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Senator Graham, Senator Franken, thank you for uh, accommodating us this morning. We sincerely appreciate it. Senator Crapo has really uh, outlined uh, Judge Nye's qualifications, and uh, I want to underscore a little bit the uh, uh, necessity of moving this along. Now, I know things around here don't move quickly, and I also know that they are governed by uh, longstanding traditions, but uh, Senator Crapo and I uh, have worked diligently to attempt to, to fill this seat. Uh, obviously, uh, as we all know, uh, Idaho uh, is a conservative state, and uh, we have an administration that's not so much. And so the challenge was great. Uh, but uh, I would say this, and uh, I would commend the White House uh, for the way that uh, this was handled. We worked uh, uh, incredibly well with, uh, with President Obama's staff uh, uh, in the give and take that's necessary to, to fill the spot. And we went through dozens and dozens of uh, applicants to finally arrive at uh, Judge Nye. And where we are right now is we have uh, enthusiastic support from, uh, from Senator uh, Crapo and myself, and also from uh, President Obama. With that, I would think that uh, Senator Franken, you would be just delighted to help uh, move this along, as uh, would uh, Senator Graham and other members uh, of the committee. I got to I got to hear his testimony first. <laughs> but I, I think you're right, though. You're, 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 Senator, you've always gotten too bogged down in the details. 
but but in any event, um, the uh, the judicial problem that we're having in the in the state uh, is not make believe. We're 1.6 million people, not a large state, but large enough to be a uh, a three judge state. Uh, we had uh, we have two authorized. We essentially have one right now that's handling it. They're bringing in out of state judges to to handle the. Uh, uh, to, to handle the cases when necessary. But um, we have uh, worked with uh, Senator Grassley, who I see has just come in, and, uh, and I think I speak on both my, uh, behalf of myself and Senator Crapo to thank you for the accommodation of, uh, uh, of recognizing the unique situation we have in Idaho with, uh, with only one uh, judge there. And the same with the uh, majority leader who's also worked with us. So uh, with all that, uh, we would urge uh, uh, passage as uh, rapidly as possible, and I think that you'll be uh, uh, well pleased uh, with Judge Nye when you when you hear him testify here. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you to the committee.